magnificent founder of modern Singapore. I am standing by the Singapore River right now, and by my first impressions, I'm impressed. I have seen many fantastic changes, from the dark, murky waters to the now luscious, bright water of the Singapore River, and the great, tall skyscrapers towering over the Singapore River. Since my first arrival in Singapore on 1819, it's great to see how fast Singapore has developed. From the first time I arrived, it was only slums and kampong houses that I saw. Jungles also surrounded the area and it was hard to travel around. But now, I see many skyscrapers surrounding the river and the amazing road system that allows for easy transportation. What a great achievement for Singapore. The numerous shop houses that once lined the edge of the river have now been changed into magnificent skyscrapers and large business buildings. Oh, and did, did I mention that lovely Mr. Minister Lee Kuan Yew? Boy, has he been a successful man. Half these changes would have been possible without him. I would have loved to meet him and have a chat with him over afternoon tea and hear his great experiences in Singapore. I have just, I have just heard about his passing and I greatly mourn his passing. I feel we both are somewhat similar in our attitude. His ambition to develop Singapore was probably the same as my ambition on trying to find suitable trading ports around the world. In a nutshell, he is an amazing and a great man. He must be respected for all time in Singapore for his contributions here. All these beautiful changes to the Singapore River through the years was mostly his work. His campaigns to clean the river was, to me, the best campaign he has undertaken. And he clearly has succeeded in his work. He has definitely, definitely left his mark on Singapore. What a joy it has been to be able to watch over these great changes happen right in front of me. It's amazing how in 50 years, the people of Singapore could build such magnificent buildings. I truly did not believe that Singapore would not have developed this quickly. I also see many tourists here at the river. Without Lee Kuan Yew's campaign of cleaning the river, I do not think Singapore's tourism will not be good as it is today. Imagine 50 years from now. Imagine the possibilities on how Singapore could further develop and improve itself. How many changes could happen to the Singapore River? It would be even more magnificent than it already is. Who knows, the luscious water of the Singapore River right now could be even more clearer and crystalline in 50 years. The many tourism highlights of the Singapore River would be bolstered in the next 50 years. I believe that Singapore can further improve in the next 50 years. Even though it looks like a short period of time, seeing how much Singapore has grown since the days I was here and the days of independence, I believe Singapore's leaders are capable in improving this great country. In 50 years, I believe that Singapore will be a futuristic sci-fi city. Seeing the innovations the people of Singapore have come up in the last 50 years, I feel that Singapore can be the standards of other great countries like Switzerland or America. I have full confidence in the leaders of Singapore, the people of Singapore, and Singapore as a country.